Hey there, welcome to Golf Beginner World. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you exactly how far you should stand from each club. So, I'm going to use my 7 iron, and the exercise that I'm going to do, and that you should do after this video, uh, can be done with every single club, and you'll find out how far you should stand. So, the first thing we're going to do is grip the club properly. Okay, and then, standing tall, stretch your arms out forwards and the first thing you need to do is to bend forwards but please don't bend forwards like that use your hip joints so using the hips and bend, bending forwards and please stop at this point my hands are now exactly opposite um, my hips from here i allow my hands arms and club to lower and the club is now on the ground the next thing we need to do is do something about the, knee, the knees. I'm going to bend my knees and I'm going to move my body downwards, towards the ground, not backwards, not forwards. Okay, and after I've done that, I'm going to check where my hip joint is. I want it to be exactly over my ankle. Very important for a good turn. And the last thing you need to do is to see if your arms are hanging or not. They need to almost be vertical. There's absolutely no tension here. If you're doing this, one sees a lot of this, then please pull them in. Or if, or if you're too tight, then bring them out. Nice and relaxed. Okay, so if you want, you can do your practice swing. You know where your club was on the ground. Now place the club behind the ball and move your feet exactly the same distance as you move the club forward. So now, the distance to the ball is perfect. Now, had I ball, hit that ball with the toe or with the heel, I and you will now know it wasn't because I was standing too close or too far. It was my swing, and I've got to do something in that regard. Hope you enjoyed this video. I think it's very useful and helpful. Have a great day. Have a great week, and I'll see you very soon again.